Never on this one. Yeah. Uh, I know, I was gonna say, always on that guy. Oh, I've been here yeah. before. Make sure you guys remind me to turn in the quest. That's what, this was the dungeon I didn't turn in the quest on. Okay. This is a trial. Yeah. Alright, so, um, I'll, I'll go grab it. Um, so there's a couple, like there's one ad up there we can kill, but nobody needs to touch those uh, quest markers. Okay. I'm gonna show you where the meat sack is. You're gonna need to know this is tank. Do you think tank will grab it? A what? Oh, the meat Lord. sack. Trust me. The meat sack. <laughs> We're talking about gagging and meat sacks already now. <laughs> no. It's not even elsewhere after dark. Oh, but, uh, alright, so Ooh. see this thing right here? Meat? Yeah, take that. Only one person can take it. And once okay. they've got it, we'll use it way towards the end. But uh, it's it. for the people that didn't know where it was at. It's at the, all the way at the end of this hallway. It was sitting right about here. Big, big giant thing that says meat. And you can pick it up. Um, that's bait. Later, there's a room that's going to have like a hundred trolls that come in waves. And we're going to throw that meat sack down to attract them all. And that's oh. a uh, achievement. So if you haven't done the troll room, that'll get you an achievement tonight. We'll murder a bunch of trolls, pick up a lot of alk alkash or what alkahest. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, we'll pull this conjurer real quick just to uh, murder him. All right, so nobody touch those brazers up there. Let's all back up a little. Uh, tank is going to touch those. That's going to make the boss spawn, and when it does, we don't want it to aggro on anyone, so if we stand back here in the water, that'll make sure it uh, it only grabs the tank. Um, so in this fight, it's pretty easy. DPS is basically going to stay right about here where I'm standing. And we're going to stack up on the boss's tail in trials. We have what are called hard stacks, where everybody's standing right on top of each other. In one nice uniform pile, like I'm doing here with Mel, we'll have everybody in one, one body. That's a hard stack right there. Soft stack is where we kind of honeycomb out a little bit. There'll be like a, yeah, kind of like we're doing right here now. Um, so, you know, we kind of stagger like this. Yeah, and then semicircle is... Uh, uh, much more rare thing, but it's very handy in certain that places. That semicircle here. Yeah, yeah, DPS totally. Yep. Um, but, uh, so here we can basically kind of hard stack up in the water right here. And uh, we'll have healers behind us. The tanks are going to be at the very back, leaning up against that wall, worry, getting knocked back against the wall. Um, there is a time tank will usually call it out, say block. Uh, when she says block, we're all going to hold block for about, you know, a few seconds because boss is going to be pounding the ground. If you're not blocking through it, you're going to get knocked up into the air. Healers should be able to heal us through it, especially if we're all stacked up where we ought to be. Um, so if you, you know, you get knocked into the air, it shouldn't be a big deal, but you'll get knocked up like two, three times in a row if you miss the block. Um, some people will shout popcorn because you look like popcorn exploding up. Uh... So, uh, some people will say block, some people will say popcorn, but this is a real quick yeah, burn, we'll two just, uh... mechanics. <clears throat> there is popcorn, but there is a, an AoE that grows from the boss, yeah. that is the block. Yeah, there's also an AoE that you want to block through, and, uh, uh, Yeah, that's the one you you have to block through, at least on vet. Yeah. If, say, oh, yeah. If four people don't block it, you get a... Everyone who doesn't block, you get a nasty bleed, but... More yep. people don't block it, the nastier it is. The bigger the bleed, exactly. Yep. Um, so yeah, vet mechanics are very, very critical uh, to be doing that. And if this was vet mode, we would have already fought like a hundred dudes that were jumping out of everywhere um, before we would get to fight this boss. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yep. But, um, so uh, we can go ahead and pull this, whatever tanks are ready. Uh, it's a, a real easy fight. We'll be through it super fast. Is there downstairs on normal? No. What now? No. So is there downstairs on normal? Nah. I can't remember. Nah, there's no downstairs mechanic. That's easy then. Okay, so now. Yeah, oh yeah, it's super easy. After we light the braziers, we'll grab aggro. We're gonna come here. Unfortunately, it will pretty much almost always put us in. Uh, first person, which does suck. Um, that's where you don't want to drop altar, you got wall elements, drop that down. 
um, do your bumps and debuffs, the cold aggro, you were not always going to see, um, because of the first person, you're not always going to see the cold AOE. That sucks, I don't know why, we should be able to. I usually tilt my camera downward a little bit so I can see the floor better, um, because boss does not move around here. So that's something that helps with trying to see it, but it's not always a given guarantee, especially with the recent um, visual graphic glitches that they've been having. Uh, it may be a little harder in here, but every time you see it starting to expand out, definitely call blocks if you can. Um, the rest will have will be able to tell, like usually like people that will be for the, the top form block, where it's three hits in a row back to back. Um, occasionally it will hit us too, even if we are in a block, it will fly up, but it usually only lifts us up once when that happens, but that's rare. Just keep holding block and continue to spawn with these things. And it's pretty simple. Okay? She don't have to stand that far back, she can stand here. No, I like to pull him up just because he's just getting up there and he's all wily and crazy. I oh, know, I'm just saying, that's what, this is where they <laughs> stand on the bed. This boss doesn't ever move, so you can drop your ulti whenever you got it. Rock. Can we get people a little bit tighter so healers don't get hit? Rock. Yeah, because those AoEs will pop up under people, and if you're too close to healers, they wind up getting hit with you. I'll two people. Yep. It's in that big area. Boss is an execute. Block. And dead. Oh, that was a spear. You won't stop what's coming. Ozara is my All favorite right. no one with her. And so I so find now we go off on. this way, head up to the, the stairs behind where boss was. When we get here, we're gonna uh, let's hang here for a sec. So generally speaking, in any trial, the guys with the flags on their backs are the ones we want to kill, and generally speaking, the more flags they have, the more we'd like to see them dead. There are some exceptions. Sometimes you'll see a guy that's got the title such and such overcharger. Uh, we almost always want to kill the overchargers before anything else. And sometimes overchargers may have two flags and something else may have three. And so that would be the exception. Kill the overcharger with fewer flags before the other guy. Um, but usually we just focus on the big dudes with flags and all the little guys just get pulled into all our aoe's and die anyway so um yeah that's uh that's generally how that works um in this room there's really i don't believe an overcharger yet um so we no. can just yeah uh there's the war priest, priest up front the and the serpent fang sitting down way in the back those are the two we want to kill but the war priest will kill first um, so, uh, we can pull whenever tank is ready. things you can loot in here. Some of these urns have some good loot. Earn your way through, yep. We loot as we go? Oh. Uh, I mean, we can. Uh, the uh, poison in here is generally impossible to avoid. 
Uh, if you wind up with a green poison circle underneath you, uh, try not to bump into other people, but again, it's really hard to do. In vet mode, you want to be fairly uh, observant to that, um, but in normal here, it shouldn't be too big an issue. It don't matter in vet either. See, it don't hurt. Oh, uh, um, there's a heavy sack and a chest up here at the top of these stairs. I mean, the only time it hurts in vet is you have two, three people stacking on each other. Like, yeah, exactly. Standing in it, and then it will hurt, but oh, yeah. Yeah. just your, you yourself, it doesn't hurt. Oh, wait a okay. second, I've been here with you guys. Yeah. This is my first time. Yeah. Yeah. Overcharger? Yep, overcharger in the back. Crown is on him. Usually what we do is we all hang out off the bridge, and we let Tank go acquire bad guys and bring them to us. Uh, there is a mechanic later in the fight where uh, there's going to be like six overchargers at the end of the bridge, and if Tank just runs over, pisses them off, and then lets them kill her, they all disappear. And we have to all be off the bridge for that to happen, so it's generally we just uh, try to keep everyone off the bridge as much as possible. Yeah, we're supposed to find our way down there. If anyone hits well, before yeah. I get the aggro position where we want it, you're gonna stop it in its track. So please wait until Tank has aggro past this hole right here to your right. Yeah, that. that we get knocked into it. Yeah, yeah you can. Generally, this phase of the fight, we can be on the bridge, but we try not to go past this first hole on the right. Overcharger near the hole. set real quick too. Oh, I'm good. Nope, nope, I'm good. I'm good. Dude, I can't believe Orange already has his fucking Master Fisher. Dude, he's been working on it a ton. Alright, so Mel, the next one spawn past this big hole here. The big track. Like, yeah, there's the one little dude, but he's not These. That's an overcharger. Should be two. There's, yeah, there's one. I'm bringing it back, I'm bringing it back, back up, back up, you guys are in front, get behind that one.
big ugly. Off the bridge. Alright, so every uh, <clears throat> everybody we want everybody at least yeah this area we're all good um so she's gonna bring him over stonebreaker or whatever there is one mechanic we want to watch out for uh he will pound the ground and sort of like a v-shape right from the center of his body will come out but there's also a middle line um you'll see the ground almost like crack and spread toward uh, spread outwards in that v pattern um if one of those lines hits you it will wreck you so tank is going to bring him here and then kind of get him facing generally away from everybody and you want to try to stay to his like shoulders and back so that you don't get a uh, hit with that v so it's real hard to spot it once everything once everything gets hatchy shockwaves anybody knows what a hatchy motor does shockwaves close yeah exactly it's like the hajimoto's shockwaves yep Yeah, that's all right, Dream. Just don't heal Pi. Heal everybody else. <laughs> all right. Right there. That's the line. everybody all right this is where we need everybody off the bridge everybody over here except for a tank I taunt as many of them as I can you'll see that like come up here with me I'll show you before I taunt so that way it doesn't fuck it up I just want to show you so you can get a good idea on how to do this just fighting six of these guys can suck so take advantage of the glitch while it's here Stand here I and doubt put yourself in first sure. person. You'll kind of see that they're stacked. There's two on each, or, or so it's like two oh, yeah. chargers in the center, two to the left, two to the right. Um, once I get up there, um, that's when I'm able to aggro the one that's stacked just slightly behind because they're like kind of butts to nuts there. Um, I try to talk the ones behind because the ones in the front will just come along anyway, and then I just uh, drag it to this big hole. But once I get to the big hole, I just let them kill me and I just sacrifice myself and I take the portal back. I don't take the portal until everybody's cleared to the other side of the bridge though, just to avoid having to run across the whole bridge. So, what do you use to pull the back? Do you chain them or do you just walk no, no, past them? No, 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 inner fire. Always inner fire. Keep going pawn. Yeah, I just do inner fire. So make run sure back here, back. Mel. Um, in theory, you can't it chain does, them. Yeah, you, the one you yeah. can't, but it can get some of them to aggro, but it won't get all of them. So you want to use inner fire. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, if I chained them, I don't think you can get all of them. Inner rage. All right, more. so yeah, one. you're good, Pi. Yeah, I'm good. As soon as Mel's uh, all the way off, there's someone. She's there. off. That's why I said you're good. That's why I said you're good. Wait for them to run back. Okay, now we should be good. Can you mount? No. 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 That's, that's why I asked for once everybody's across the bridge, I then take the portal. Yep. Otherwise, I have to do yep. the run. We're good. Alright. A couple backpacks here. Wow, did it let you pull both levers, Dulles? Yeah. Oh, okay. I always thought you needed two people for that. Nah, it's a timer. Gotcha. You have like three seconds to pull them each. Gotcha. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, I was like, yeah. how the fuck did he manage that? You're just fast, okay. 
can do it yeah. here and you can do it in the last boss. Obviously, when you split, right. you have to. to yeah. Alright, so and there's the, a heavy uh, sack on the table. <clears throat> some people won't see the heavy sack for some dumb reason. And then there's this chest. Top of the stairs will be another chest. Another <laughs> sack, I think. Yep. Can I get my chest piece of twice we club a pee? I'm hoping to get you on. This is an intermediate, so there's a good option for it. The first one we pulled was a master. Again. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. What kind of choices are you wanting? Two fang. Twice fang. Two fanged. And this, uh, sometimes this heavy sack is hard to target. Works so better in first in person. This, only in this situation will I have you go to the right, just because there's two tanks here. Um, but yeah, normally I just divide myself up based on what side this group has me on. If my you go, you're left, supposed go to go left. Yeah, yeah oh, tanks should left. always go left. Yeah. Tanks if you're going one go tank, left. Yeah. left. Oh, okay. Or adds left side. Oh, okay. See, I didn't know that, so I just go based on where it says my name. So we want to have some of the DPS to the right, half DPS to the right, half DPS to the left. A healer on each side. Uh, three, two, one, pull. And then go through your door that just opened, and go all the way to the top. Run past everything, go right to the top. Take out your troll, and AoE everything else down. There's no overcharge over here. Yeah. Yeah, once you've done it in bed a ton, normal is just like, what? I want that side because there's no overcharge. Yeah, there's not. door downstairs and let some trolls in the room. I don't know what she were doing, but I see the trolls. <laughs> So in this coming room, there's some holes in the floor we want to be extra careful of. Um, definitely don't fall in once battle started, or you're gonna have to sit there dead until it ends. Um, so just kind of stay to the left. Even by the boards, there's a gap. So stay to the left and run all the way to the back here. That way, we've got plenty of space without holes to play in. Is there an overturn? 
charger here. Uh, can someone put the merchant away? Yes, there was pie. It oh, was. damn, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> you better come down here. You better come down here and look. <laughs> yeah, so she'll, she'll, she'll point it out for you. Four yeah. charger in the middle. Yep. Pulled it all out of my ulti. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you gotta say then. You know I always try to do that. I know this mine and Della self you put to waste. It's fine. It no. Be. You should have wore horns before we dropped our ulti and then left everything in our ulti. I don't I don't I don't do many normals. I guess I'm just pulling things. Uh <laughs> at the other. I'm on it. Uh, three, two, one, pull. Straight up to the top. Well, the other yeah, thing is if you, see, if you see the little, like, a uh, stone thing move on the levers. The way, yeah, then you know you, it's time. Yeah. I mean, too. Yeah. Yeah. All I can see is yeah. pink and green. Yeah, <laughs> push all the way to the top of the stairs. This door oh, right yeah. here, by by crown, this is gonna open, and an overcharger will come out. No, and then on this other here. side where Pi is at, that door right there will open, and an overcharger will come I out. I grab the overcharger and run to the center, and then I can enter inter fire the one out of the first door. Now, I just wait for this bit. Yeah. Usually we we either split up DPS and have half at each door, or we have tank pull the overchargers to the middle. Sometimes they don't pull. Uh, um, most DPS usually stack on this door, kill this one, nuke it, and then work to the other one. Okay, I'm good it's with that. Faster. Yeah, I bring this one. So, right. by, so by the time she moves that one, this one should be dead. Should be basically dead. Yeah. All right, so let's yes. get all the DPS over here on Crown. And, and we'll just nuke this. So and then, I mean, that's how we uh, do it. Have friends, grab uh, the friends yep. too. We'll just poke what we can and run. So then, okay? Okay. Can you go to the center real quick and aggro it, Pi? Yeah. I'll push it off. Yeah, I will not be contained. Yes, you do you understand me? Not by the Celestial Guardians. Not by you. Oh, 
the hold it for the next set of ads. I'm learning what the icons mean. Uh. This way, whose nose is that? I don't know, but I'm using it. Not mine, okay. <laughs> so, what do Lever. Going to the left. Okay. Go ahead and, pull it. and nobody go through the door when we open this, please. Pull it. Yep. Yeah, do not pass tank. Actually, go ahead. If you pass tank, we're not pulling it. No, it. no. All right. So listen. Um, we can all post up right here on Crown, unless you have poison on you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, tank is gonna run in this room before us, off to the left kind of where I'm shooting. A couple ads will spawn. Tank is going to run off past this wooden uh, fencing and she's going to make a hard right turn there. She's going to grab boss and spin it around and put it against the wall. It's one of those Lamia, like snake looking chicks. We all need to hard stack right on her tail. She does this mechanism where she pins you down to the ground with a lightning bolt and if somebody gets pinned, they're going to lay there getting damaged until they die or until someone picks them up. And if we're all hard stacked, we never need to leave the stack. We can just hit the synergy buttons to pick somebody up and get right back to DPSing. There will be an overcharger that spawns kind of behind the boss. Sometimes it stays there. Sometimes it runs off to where these other ads were at. We want to stand in that stack and just face the overcharger, melt them down with ranged attacks, and then turn back and burn boss. Real easy fight as long as we burn that overcharger and then don't have to run like 30 feet away to unstick somebody, you know? Because that's how people wind up dying. Where are you then... standing for that? Uh, Pi's, Pi's gonna stand with her back to one of those doors. Um, yeah, 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 but what, what, what door are you standing at, Mike? My, my question. Okay, I, I hang around, right, and then that one that the overcharger pops out at, I... If you look where we're at, the room yeah, just yeah, to the okay, northeast of us... That's the one you're supposed to hang out, yeah. Okay, yeah, sure. yeah. She's at the right one. Yeah, yeah. Um, just... yeah. At first, guys, I'm like, you guys were... Ah, it's not like, you, like you're gonna stand on, like, where boss spawns. That's why. No, 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 no. She's gonna no. grab it and run it over there. So, yeah. Um, so everybody get close. Okay. Okay, so now when I start, to, uh, I'll run down that way, but once I start to cut to the right around the little wooden fence right there, um, I'm usually about three steps before I can hit inner fire on Ozara. She'll be out in the open, and then I immediately spin my camera to the right, and I keep moving towards that door that'll be on the right. It's the stone doors like these other people have been coming out of. And Overcharger will come out, I poke him, I turn my back to the door, and just keep holding Ozara there. Sometimes, this is what makes this my favorite fight, is um, Ozara will knock you through the door, and you can't open the door. The door will not open until the fight is over. Um, you can still hold taunt on her so long as you are using uh, 
pierce armor. If you're not doing poke, she will not taunt within her fire. Will not go through the door for some reason. Um, and then you can still debuff through the door too. Usually with altar and um, uh, poke, I have the uh, because you're not DK. But uh, drop okay. altar and just pull poke. Not a big deal. All right. You ready? You're gonna, you're gonna run the ads around, Pagrilla? You're off tank? Uh, I'm gonna, huh? I've, I've never, I usually pull all of the doors, I try to pull everything with the door with the uh, fire. Yeah, I mean usually as long as the overcharge is dead, it's normal, we just burn boss down and leave the frickin' serpent fangs and stuff until after well, boss uh, is dead. Well, they, they, they do that on the bed anyway, the off tank holds all the, all the yeah. ads. Oh yeah, down the hallway, but yeah. Um, um, I'm just gonna get Mel in place to where she can take the aggro, and then I'll grab the ads. I don't give a fuck about that. I just need her to get boss where she needs to be. So, okay. Um, Alright, so when they run, we're gonna follow in a moment. Alright, let's all go. Ignore these guys to your left. Run right uh, past them. Get right He's here right on boss's tail, and then burn that overcharger down to our right. Yeah, everybody please get harder stacked, because it's going to suck if you get pinned. Um, okay, well. The overcharger is still alive, by the way. He's dead. Somebody's pinned, I'm getting the mic. Bolted. No, I heard you could unbolt yourself. I don't know uh, if that's true never, or not. No, no, not no you cannot well, unbolt. I've heard that you. I mean, I never thought you could either, but they were doing uh -huh. it. I don't know about that. I know it's just a glitch, but it's, it's, not, it's not supposed yeah. to be a thing. Yeah. I've been bolted plenty of times going, someone please pick me up, and I would have unbolted. Were you, were you using the synergy to, were you trying to unbolt yourself? I don't have even tried. It'll say, it'll say that you've been using it if, uh, if there's some pedals are on, but uh, it will not pop up. Your character literally lays on the ground. There's still a troll back here, guys. That's the master chest, too. Okay. <laughs> I'm wondering okay. why. I see two trolls. I killed two trolls. <laughs> I know there's supposed to be right, a third so one, but... There's two chests and a heavy, two heavy sacks in here. They're, like, opposite each other. So the one hard-to-see sack is right here on the crown. That's good. What was the other? You got a twice band But what did you want that in? Uh, chest down. That next patch may be something you may want to use. Tanks. Occasionally. Wow, really? Yeah, it's gonna, like, when you get that on like 30% or something, it gives you major protection. It may be useful. It may not. It may be very niche. Alrighty. I mean, at the moment, at the current PTS patch, I'm just with this too. Alright. Knows if it gets changed or not. Alrighty. So, overchargers will be here, kind of in the middle of the pack. Right, right in front of Crown. Drop a Warhorn if you got it. I 
CO2. This is that troll room I was talking about in the beginning, where the uh, yeah. the, the meat sack that uh, Mal picked up goes. Where do I put it? Right here on the speed pile. Looks like a pile of bones and whatever. So there's the meat sack. We're gonna have a bajillion trolls. I got lagged out and the three trolls found on me. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Probably should have switched to my monster helm, but oh well. Man, I got an aggro. So that's the troll room. So now we'll go back up and fight the last boss. So this is a super easy fight, um, there is a circle up there that the boss just spawned in, Tank's gonna grab him and spin him around and keep him kind of in the middle of that circle. It is conveniently the exact size of the healer's healing spring, so if everybody's standing just inside that circle, we'll all get the healing springs, we all just kind of lightly hard stack right, right around there. Um, during the fight, uh, probably only once for us, we're gonna have, uh, a big, uh, what's it called, come up, uh, the, uh... Manicora? Manicoras, yeah. 
Uh, the manticore is going to come up. We're just going to turn our camera 180 degrees, melt the manticore where we're standing, and then turn <clears> right back. Bring him in That's it. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll just melt the boss. Uh, there is a mechanic in here that's not really important in normal, but it's super important in vet mode. Which is, yeah, if you get this blue kind of orbish thing on you, you have oh, a magic. magic bomb on you. You gotta get your magic up really, really low. What is it? Uh, 20%. Like 20%? Yeah. You gotta get your magic below 20% or you're gonna wind up exploding and it hurts everybody around you. It's kind of like a proxy debt, if, you, if you're familiar with that skill. Um, so you don't want to proxy debt the whole, the whole group of us. Um, if you're a stamina build and you really have no way to dump your magic, you want to just kind of run out of the circle, off to the right or to the left, so that just you take the explosion. Uh, but again, in normal, it's no big deal. We can just, you know, the group can, the group can eat those bombs in normal. Um, but, uh... I'll be right back, I'm grabbing a snack. Yeah. Oh, I'm but, I'm turns really cool. Yeah, oh, there's no nothing for her. No, she that's her teaching you. Yeah. Taunt oh, the yeah. boss and you turn around. You're responsible for calling out manticoras and you're also responsible for interfering in them to make sure that they stack. Yep. Wait, I like having them nice and neat. I don't like this whole behind the group bullshit. I like them eating up all that AOE. I don't like my people. Yeah. You, do, you do know on vet though, you, you take that manticore and you come back here and you just... Yes. This is your home. <laughs> Yeah, no, you I'm look back here that. with the manacora. So. Off no, tank I'm grabs manacora and brings it back here. Hey, you stay here. You do not want to have manacora in the fight. Wait, wait, wait. Where is it? Oh, hey, um, hey, hey. Right here. Right at Crown. Oh, okay. Just, oh, back where we're sitting. Okay. Also, when, there's going to be a bunch of lanias. You die. You yeah, we don't even have purple bubbles here. And normal. Um, <laughs> but in, uh... In, uh, oh. We're gonna have uh, a whole bunch of Lamias pop up. They are like super suicidal. They'll just run into all our AoEs on top of boss. So don't bother targeting them. Just let them die. Um, so anyway, that's it. That's a really easy fight. Dump your magic if you get the bomb on you. Kill the Manticora by just turning around or letting it come into the middle. And uh, once or twice we'll call out block for a boss mechanic, but it's nothing super bad anyway. When he hits zero percent, uh, just keep going oh, until he actually yep. falls dead. If he's not yeah. actually laying flat on the floor, he's not dead. I don't care if it's the zero yeah, percent, keep going. It'll say zero percent and he's still up and I've seen him wipe groups when he's at zero percent. So <laughs> keep attacking. Yep. Warhorn, if you got one, please. They're huge, you can't mess them. It's the first boss we fought. Yep. Warhorn? And that sound was someone with a bomb on him. Did you get a synergy yet, Sakai? Okay. Much he 
dead. And yeah, that'll be the only mana core. Which is every every other If you got him, that's funny. Mine says 9.7k, 0%. But he's stuck at 9.7k. Now it says 0. Drop an ulti for the fuck of it. Hey, look, here's the pink thing. So you do have the pink things on normal. We're good. And that's it. That's Sanctum. Oh, I got a dagger of a mortal. Let me look what I got. Only chest I got is a mortal Nikita. What happened here? I'm looking for a high A if anyone has it. It's sealed the serpent away. Look through all my stuff right now. I give a free care to someone if they get my chest piece. I didn't even get a chest piece. <laughs> yeah, I didn't either. Like, I mean... <laughs> no, I didn't get. I got doo doo. I got like feet and helmets. I got a ring. Two rings. I got one chance right here. Box. Give me my thing. Where's the? Ch you already opened the chests, uh, right? All the more oh no, Kita. What would I want to play with? So I know if I want body or if I want tools or what. <laughs> I don't know. It's very niche. Alright. Well, well, I, I, well, I got a shit ton of There's immortal. There's a full, full, full set here. Like, um, and I say, it may not even be something you even use. It's just one of those things that... Looks kind of useful, right? You know, that... Potentially oh, wait, could be used for okay. certain circumstances, you know. What kind of chest uh, did you need? Uh, two I need it. And immortal Yokita. I got the Im immortal Yokita. Who wants that, Dulles? No, you can. I have one too. For I have one as well, so. I'll take these. Yeah, I just. And you can take hers or That's fine. Yeah. I'll stand right here. I also have a weapon. A one-handed weapon of a mortal if you need it. Don't put me the button against the skin. No, it's a dagger. Oh, fuck. Dagger. Doesn't matter what it is. It's a one-handed weapon. It's a Sword and board don't I'll care. I'll take it and just put my board warden over it and make it look dope anyway. I got I IHUs. Shoulders. For real? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got two fanged shoulders, uh, infused if you need them. I'll take those. Wait, what? Hang on, it was here. It was purple. Oh. If you got out of the you coffer, you, you can't trade it. Oh, no! Yeah, the coffer, you can't trade. <laughs> well, that's dumb. You said you got twice fanged shoulders. Yeah, I got them. Dang, and you want to chat him. Tell me Immortal. what you're doing with that, cause I'm like, what? Oh, give that to Pi. Oh, okay. That's fine. Aw, thank you. Well, I thought well, there was I, I mainly run my now. Nightblade for most things, right? And yeah, so you're more of the, uh... Yeah. Uh, and who needed yeah. the IA? I got shoes. I do, please. That was a lady, right? Yeah. Yes. Did anybody? I got a ring of Immortal Yokator if anybody wanted a ring. Hi. That would be fantastic. I have one too. Uh, I actually have to uh, do like my nightmare. Do uh, your ring to metal, please. I have a ring. Oh, but do you have a full set? I have two of them. Oh, okay. Wait. Yeah, two of them. 
I will decline. I do not need them. Thank you, though. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Did you want any of the other immortal Yukita stuff? No, I have no idea. Uh, Do you want that dagger part? Yeah, I'm taking the immortal Yukita that I can get. And I'll take the dagger, I guess. Like, I feel like yeah. I'm taking my board warden over it. Thank you. I've got something else, I think, if you want it. Does anybody want the gauntlets? I've got a shoulder, but that's no good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What? Shoes. Good. Well, I have a ton of immortal for you, Pi. Sadly, a lot of it's divine. What you want, but. Oh, no, I got this. Thank you. Give me twice, thing I'll be out of this place. Do you want divine or infused sabatons, Pi? Probably in. Yeah. Sabatons? Yes, the of immortal. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I just gotta trade chains those. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna I'll say if they were pants. I, I've got. Oh, yeah, I've got two. Do. Yeah, pants she could keep infused, yeah. Um, but I've got an, an extra set for you too, if you want them. I'm torn, because I, I, I might potentially use it, but at the same time... Well, here, detail them if you decide not to. I do so much on my night blade where I don't... <laughs> yeah. I don't run much else. I have like three, four sets I run, and that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, sir. Aww. Work at 5 a.m. Good night. That's early. Well, that's what I'm not gonna do this stuff. I actually have to dip, you guys. My night. See you, dreams. I gotta do my routine. You can take those. You know how to do it with the car? You'll have to remind me, but it's okay. Thanks, everybody, for the group. Yeah, thank I'll you. I'll still be like, uh, hanging out. Turn your quest in, Mel. Oh, oh wait, you got your coffee. She did. Right. Yeah, she okay. did, because she got That's the coffee. Sure. I was like, wait. <laughs> no, these are my cookies. <laughs> Ooh, the share it's, a bit, it's about to get loud and angry. Head mental. Soft. I baked, like, that's what I was doing the other night. I got off and I baked Reese's cookies, chocolate chip. Sugar cookies with sprinkles, I make epic brownies and then brownies with marshmallows. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not much of a baker. I make like pumpkin pie. I do that. Ooh, that's not the only thing I make. I can never get that right. Alright, I'm leaving. I just wanted to get loud, so that's the only reason why I can make it. We're doing another run pie where you can find people again. I'm totally down. I just like, want to see if milk and, uh, um, Shepard? I don't know German that well. I mean, we gotta find a whole set of people, but like... Yeah. I mean, I only got like... I'd give her like 20 minutes, but... I don't know. What do we have? So we need healers? <laughs> Fine, it wasn't... Yeah, we just had a ton of people leave, yeah. so... So rip. Rip. I'm on a healer. Perfect! Hey! hey What's up, Gnab? Hold up. Let's see if, uh... Yeah. I sat waiting to see if you needed anyone after and when you said you need a healer, I'm like, I'm on a healer! Perfect. Switch to chats, we'll be right back. Alright. Yeah, we just, just ran NSO. We were gonna maybe run it again. Uh, but, I don't know if we can get 12 people. And honestly, by the time we do pie, I'm gonna need to be going to bed. Like, I was dragging so much ass at work today, and we gotta wake up early tomorrow. And then I gotta do, like, three hours of driving before I go to work. 
So I, I probably need to be going to sleep soon. Okay, can I so that I'm not... Out? Okay. Well, I mean, I don't want to be falling asleep at my desk, which is what I was right. almost doing today, so... Okay. Well, I got the itis I after run lunch. Like midnight if we can. Oh, that's Please. definitely doable next Thursday. But, you know, tomorrow's a... And then watch myself right. die five million times and then be like, see, Severin, this is why I don't deep. I just want to be able to be like, who, who are you going to deeps you. with? Your mag blade? That I'll, with my mag blade, yeah. He thinks I'll be fine. You'll I'm like, whatever, great. I suck ass. Like, I'm not deeps, man. Nah, I you'll life. do great on your mag blade. Uh, I'm terrible at DPS as well. I 